Hi everyone, welcome to Troncat Tutorials. As per the user request, we are trying to start our new tutorial videos. Today we are going to discuss about Noob's installation on Raspberry Pi. For that, we need to require Raspberry Pi, SD card, power supply for the Pi, a keyboard mouse interface, an HDMI cable, and an HDMI monitor. We have an SD card with 16 GB memory. We have to format the SD card first with the SD formatter. Now, extract the noobs files which we have downloaded earlier. The latest version of noobs file is available in Raspberry Pi official website. We have to copy the extracted files to SD card root folder. Put the SD card into Raspberry Pi. For the powering, we connect USB. For the video out, we use HDMI cable and monitor. And also connect keyboard mouse interface. Then ready to power on. Now we can see what happens. For the first boot, select the Raspbian from the box and click on install. It will take few minutes to complete the whole process. After the installation, Raspberry Pi will boot up. We can see the boot up screen. First, we have to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Now it's connected. Now we need to know what IP we have to connect. For that, we have a Linux command called ifconfig. It shows the IP. And this is the IP being connected to the network. One more option is there in the Raspberry Pi. So I have to reboot the Pi. When the booting screen appears, just hold the shift key. We can reinstall the whole environment from the recovery option. If I need to remotely access the Raspberry Pi, first, we have to enable SSH. For that, we have a Linux command called sudo raspi config. There is an option called interfacing options. So I need to enable SSH. We can access the Raspberry Pi remotely through PuTTY. Enter the Raspberry Pi IP. Enter the username and password. We can do remote. After booting the Pi, again take the putty and connect it. For FTP transfer, we have another application called WinSEP. Connect the WinSEP with IP.
For copying the file from our PC to Raspberry Pi, just select the file and drag into Pi folder. Go to Raspberry Pi File Manager. We can see the file transfer from the PC. Thank you. Please use subscribe button to stay updated.